Earlier this year, I reviewed two Maurice Lacroix watches from the Icon series. So two watches that no doubt were well constructed for the price, but I think many will be quick to point out the design inspiration from maybe other well-known sports watches that reside at a much higher price up market. However, alongside a release of many other models this year, Maurice Lacroix announced the release of another model that is part of the Icon family that I think brings forth a more distinctive design while still bringing in the same well-constructed package that the Icons that are reviewed earlier this year were bringing forward. But that model being the one that we have here today, Maurice Lacroix Venturer. Now, Maurice Lacroix is a Swiss watch brand that it has been around for a little bit of time, but in the relative just landscape that is the world of wristwatches, uh, it's still kind of a younger brand. And if I had to classify these watches or just Maurice Lacroix in general, I think they fall in the same kind of category as I see a lot of brands like uh, Frederick Constant, uh, Mito, just delivering really good value for money. And I'd almost classify them as like attainable luxury uh, in a way, because they have some really interesting pieces amongst their masterpiece collection, as well as uh, these icon models that for you know under two grand, uh, I think you're getting a lot there with the construction of the timepieces. And in addition, as of late, I've noticed them making more waves in the American market, which I think is a result of their increased focus on offering these well-constructed sports pieces, which I think have just continued to go up in popularity. And despite this venture drawing a lot of inspiration from the Icon models, where it really draws the most inspiration is from the brand's popular 1990s model, the Calypso. But looking at this Venturer model, the watch itself has similar dimensions to the Icon models that I've reviewed earlier this year, with a case size of 43 millimeters, lug to lug of 49 millimeters, and a thickness of 12 millimeters, while achieving 300 meters of water resistance. The watch showcases integrated lugs and offers an easy quick release system for changing from strap to another strap or to the bracelet as well. This model here comes with a rubber integrated strap. Although I'm not always the biggest fan of them, I think it works in this instance as it will really tug to the wrist, making this 43 millimeters wear much more accommodating for those with smaller wrists. With my six and a quarter inch wrist, I definitely think that I could pull this off, but I would certainly welcome a smaller case variant. Uh, and with a new 39 millimeter variant available amongst the Icon models, I think it would be a great move to see an option available as well for this Ventura lineup in the future. And on the subject of this strap, I think the rubber strap pairing on this watch certainly works, but one of the best aspects of just the Maurice Lacroix Icons that I have reviewed in the past is their bracelets, being some of, I think, the better looking and really well constructed bracelets in this price category. So with this considered, I think I would lean on purchasing the bracelet version, and then you can always switch back to the rubber if you ever need to. Looking at the watch straight on, there's no doubt that the design language of the icon is really embedded within. However, I think this design with its added unidirectional bezel, showcasing beautiful coin edge finish along the side of it, with markings that indicate the minutes, with each 10 minute marking being indicated by a marked ray steel point, I think allows this watch to have more of a unique identity. In addition, the watch also includes the addition of long crown guards that tie closely to the side of the case, and a different style screw down crown at the three. Looking within the sapphire crystal, we have a black dial, applied circular indices containing superluminova, and then to match those superluminova indices, we also have baton style hands, also featuring the same loom to match. Flipping the watch over, we have a closed case back containing an ML115, a Salida base caliber, so it's the SW201, the Salida equivalent to the ETA2824-2, operating at four hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, and has a power reserve of 38 hours. A movement that I've been seeing a lot more as of late, because I think a lot of brands in general that are uh, either kind of independents or are really producing a lot of volume are kind of getting tired of dealing with ETA's games of uh, scaling up production and having to deal with maybe getting cut off at some point uh, with the movements that are being provided within their watches. I noticed that with Zinn uh, when I did my review of the Zinn 556, link in the description if you've not seen that video. But as I expressed in my video reviewing the Maurice Lacroix Icon and Icon Chronograph earlier this year, these watches are just really well built for the price, as well as being just crazy photogenic. And with this Venturer here, I think we have more of the same while coming in a design style that I think removes itself from the territory of homage and instead offers a more distinctive look in a stylish looking package that I hope we can see more from in the future, just with more case options, different dial variations, as this certainly has to be a contender for this sub $2,000 price range that it occupies. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. It's all just a huge help for me and the channel. Also, just a quick question. So I've noticed like Maurice Lacroix, like brands like Mido, Frederick Constant, 
making more ground and kind of taking up more ground in the American market where I'm from. And it's really interesting to see how some models, some brands are more popular in certain regions throughout the world. So for you guys, because I know the global audience here, what brands have you noticed in your part of the world or your neck of the woods that have kind of been growing in popularity that uh, maybe you've just seen as of late. Also guys, important information about the giveaways. I'm giving away three watches this month. Be sure to be following me on Instagram, fill out that watch giveaway form. Uh, so I'm gonna be making some announcements on my Instagram, so be sure to be following me there as well. And Maurice Lacroix as well, uh, they're doing some interesting thing with a, a giveaway uh, with a limited edition model of the Venturer. Model itself looks pretty cool and has uh, orange accents, so a little bit more fun than this kind of standard black dial option. But to win that watch it involves uh, taking part in a competition they have called Time Code that involves running around a uh, city collecting different checkpoints using an app. So if you're interested in getting a free watch, they also I think are offering up a tour of their Switzerland facility. That upcoming opportunity is gonna be in New York City, and I know many of you that are watching this are from there, so I'll have a link in the description if you wanna partake in that as well. And are you guys looking for a new strap or maybe a new watch? Hit the links in the description, go to teddyballers.com, and heading over to Bob's Watches, our partners over in Newport Beach, California. There's no better place to go to buy those watches or straps, so hit those links again in the description. And guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.